Hey mamas and welcome back to Work and Mama. Today we have our next video in the How to Snoo series and we're talking about snoo sacks and snoo sheets. So the accessories that you need for your snoo. So first of all, when you're buying a snoo, what does it come with? If you're buying or renting directly from the happiest baby, then you would be getting one snoo sheet. Um, it's probably gonna be a plain white one, not like this one that has little design stars on it and one of each size of the snoo sacks. Um, and they come in small, medium, and large size. And you may be wondering, should I be buying more than that? So the Happiest Baby does sell uh, their additional snoo sacks and sheets on their site. They have multi-packs, so you can kind of buy in bulk and save. Um, it can get pricey to buy these, but in my humble opinion, you definitely need to. At a minimum, I would recommend having one extra snoo sheet and one extra of the small and medium snoo sacks. Personally, we actually have, I believe, three or four snoo sheets and we have four size small snoo sacks and three size medium snoo sacks. The reason that I don't recommend buying extra large right away is because many babies grow out of the snoo before they reach size large. Um, that may or may not be the case for you, um, <clears throat> but if they do need the large sleep sack, then you probably you know, will have the one that came with your snoo to begin with. Of course, if you're buying your snoo um, secondhand or um, you know, on a buy, sell, trade page or a resale site or whatever the case, then you need to work with whatever that seller is offering a lot of times they will throw in extra accessories and stuff like that to kind of sweeten the deal for people to buy their secondhand snoo. But um, you would need to know what you're getting when you're purchasing that. The other thing I want to mention about having extra snoo sheets is that <clears throat> you can, if you are going through laundry very frequently, I will say in the newborn phase, first two, three months, we were going through snoo sacks and snoo sheets so often like multiple times every night you do not want to have to throw them in the laundry and wait for that laundry to be done and dry before you can put baby back to sleep safely in their snoo especially in the middle of the night that's when it always happens right so <clears throat> another thing that you can do is actually take the snoo mattress and flip it around i'll demonstrate for you so you can see what that looks like when we had not a sheet available to us because maybe we already went through the two or three in that night um, or didn't do laundry the night before or whatever the case, um, then we, we would do that and it worked pretty well also as an alternative for you. The next thing I want to share with you is the difference between the old style snoo sacks and the new style snoo sacks. So the differences are pretty slight. Um, but I have one of each here, so I can show you them side by side, and you probably won't be able to tell the difference at first. But these are actually both medium snoo sacks. And this one is the new style, and this one is the old style. So the new style snoo sack, um, from the outside, the only difference you can tell is that it's a little wider in the hip area, which is really good to prevent healthy hip movement for baby as they're developing. And then the old style is a little more kind of flat um, and, and straight and it still works. We only had this option when we had baby number one in our snoo because they didn't come out with the new style yet. Also, side note, it's impossible to tell when you're buying a snoo sack that is new in package which style it is. I believe that if you're buying your snoo from the Happiest Babies site, all of the sacks that come with it will be that new style. Um, but just be mindful that if you're buying um, off of a site, um, like a secondhand site, or even directly from the Happiest Baby, you really don't know which style you're going to get. Both are effective. Both are safe to use in the snoo, which is the number one concern, right, that you might have. But we already talked about the difference from the outside being that it's a little wider in the hip area. And then the other difference is that inside there is an extra piece of fabric that straps baby in between the legs. So a regular snoo sack, I shouldn't say regular, the old style snoo sack opens up and has 
just the straps to bundle their arms together and secure them. And then the new style has that. And in addition, it has an, a strap to go between their legs, which will prevent baby from um, scooting down throughout the night and having a bunch of this material up around their neck when they wake up. I will say that having gone through um, a full uh, newborn phase with the snoo with my first baby and not having that new style snoo sack, it was, it was fine. However, we did have that issue a few times where he would kind of end up in the middle of the night or in the morning kind of cinched up with some extra fabric around him. And so it's not the most pleasant thing to wake up to. If you're double swaddling your baby, which I have a video about um, that I'll link here for you, uh, if you're double swaddling your baby in the snoo sack, it's not something you need to worry about, old style versus new style, because most likely you're not going to be able to use that between the leg strap when you're double swaddling anyway, in which case you would just lay that strap flat. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful for you and we will see you in the next one.